So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna continue with our login application which we have been developing so far from one tutorial. Yep, so let's get started. All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna cover some backend part and um, create some validation so that we can send the data across the server. So if we take a look at our site, what we have right now is that we can just go to this login page and we can just go to this admin page and everything is open right now. So what we can do is that we can program um, to get this text out of when we click on the submit button and then send it to the server. All right. So now to do that, we go to login component and right here uh, we have this login user event. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, my target element is event dot target. Right. And then um, apparently we can say that inside my login dot component HTML, I can provide this an ID of username and ID of password. And since we are passing the ng form submit event of login user and we're passing this as event as the object so we get the event of this form submission so we have our id as username and this one has id as password so we can do constant username is uh, target dot get element by id and this would be username and the password would be this thing right so now if we just console log our username and password here and see in the browser all right so now if we just go to inspector go to console we have nothing for now if i enter like one two three four five and one two three four five hit submit uh, okay we get target dot get element by id is not a function uh, let me just see dot get element okay just a minute get element okay i think we cannot just go about that so let's just go with the query selector right here and we should be fine there we are and uh, you obviously want the value here there we go now if i enter one two three four five one two three hit summit we have not seen the updated changes here one two three four five one two three hit submit you can see that we get username and password logged in perfectly now what i want is that i want to inject the service which we have already done auth service right here so um, inside our auth service right here what we want is we want to call this user details function so i'm going to say something like get auth this dot auth dot get user details and i'm going to pass in the username and password right here and we're going to do something with this so right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to import http client module to perform an ajax request from angular common http there we are now i'm just gonna inject this privately http is http client module just like that and now what i'm gonna say is uh, return this dot http dot post now this would be our url which in our case is api slash what we have in here is auth dot php and the data we want to send is username and password and what we're seeing here is or actually this should be just http client right there we are okay so now we are sending the username and password and we want to subscribe to this now this is the rxjs implementation we're going to come to that later on in the series but right now let's just see let's just assume that subscription what this subscribe means is that you are subscribing to this async pipeline flow so whenever some event occurs 
this subscription method would be called and in our case is that the data when the data would be returned so i'm just going to console log data right here and see is what we got from the server all right and if we take a look inside auth.php you can see that we have this code right here which says that if is set post and empty is post is not empty then i want to get username as post username i want to get password as post password if username is admin and password is also admin then i want to display this json record if else wise i'm going to display invalid credentials and if there's this request is not post or post request is empty i'm going to just say that only post requests are access is accepted all right makes sense now if i go to this and write one two three one two three right here hit submit we get uh 504 gateway timeout right here okay okay we are getting some error proxying to the server right here so if we just say phps localhost one two three four one two three four right here okay so now we can just visit one two three four here and it just works api.php also works so that should not be a problem really but we get 504 gateway timeout so if we see what's happening here okay so now if we go to like api we get error occurred while trying to proxy to okay so it looks like that we have some problem with our php server so let's just create that again so i'm gonna say php as local host or we can just go with that and one two three four this is now there we are and now if we reload this and actually we can just um where is it our angular project it's up and if we submit this we can see that our network tabs looks like something like okay so we are getting only post access accepted but we are in indeed sending a post request here so if it said post added post is not empty uh, what we can do here is pretty much just war dump post variable to see what it contains so if we submit this again we get nothing out of it all right to quickly fix this what we're gonna do is just redefine our post here so that um, php can accept the json stuff here as well so i'm just gonna get file get contents here and then we're gonna read from php input stream and what we're gonna do is uh, pretty much that is it this should make it work and this is just the back end part so it really depends on your implementation again so now if we take a look here in the browser hit summit you should see that we get invalid credentials which is true now if i write something like admin and admin and hit submit we get this is the secret no one knows but the admin all right so now what we can do is uh, go back to our um, login component right here and i'm just gonna say dot subscribe data i'm gonna say if data dot success then we're gonna redirect redirect the person to admin else we're just gonna alert uh, invalid 
or rather we can just make use of data dot uh what we have message there we go all right so uh okay what we're gonna do here is finally we're just gonna return just this thing so now we can see that uh, we get this thing okay so now if we take a look reload one more time here and enter admin and admin with summit we see we get nothing because uh, we are the admin obviously so if i write this as admin one and hit summit you can see we get invalid credentials as the option so that is how pretty much would work with login application in this tutorial now the, in the next one we're going to cover about routing and making this form a little bit beautiful because it looks ugly and yeah that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications